How y'all doing? Good, good. Well, you got Houston coming up. Obviously, they just, just bombed three uses. Do you have to be, obviously, you're aware of it intellectually, but like, do you have to remind yourself throughout the game, like make sure to defend the three-point line to an even more extreme level? Uh, nah, I mean, we, we know game plan going in. They're going to shoot a lot of threes. Um, that's, that's what the league is, you know. Very, very, it's, it's, it's a handful of teams that, that aren't um, really three-point shoot teams. Um, so it's, it's, it's easy going into tomorrow night, um, having an understanding that this team is going to bomb them up. Um, but not only bomb them up, they shoot it at a high, high level. Um, they got a lot of guys that make tough threes and shoot tough threes. So um, it's, it's not uh, preventing them from shooting threes. It's um, getting them out of rhythm so they don't hit those threes. Yeah, you got to keep him out of the paint, keep him out of uh, attacking the basket, um, but be aware of that step back um, that's coming. Try to get you off balance um, and, and, you know, get that three up. Um, but we, 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 we got a good game plan for tomorrow night. Paul, I know he's a veteran and he'll pick things up, but as, as a leader, what's your role in helping get Corey, you know, kind of acclimated with everything here uh, right away? Um, I mean, he's like you said, he's a veteran. Uh, I think mostly it's getting him comfortable, getting him used to um, just being around us. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a family environment here. Um, that's that's really the only thing that we, we, we have to do. Um, he's He's... You know, he's been with Coach. Um, he, he knows Coach. So uh, for us, it's just getting him used to being in this locker room and, and, and you know, being on the team. You had a couple long plane rides to uh, <laughs> chat him up. He seems like a pretty chatty guy. No, he is. He's a really good dude, really positive guy. Um, you know, he's, he's definitely a great locker room guy. Um, and, you know, we're, we're happy about the pickup. Well, Paul, well, Corey admitted himself that he struggled in his first game, but you, know, you being the guy that's in Indiana, you saw guys come and go in terms of trades and acquisitions. Like, how important is it to just have one day of practice with a new guy in terms of them getting acclimated? Yeah, it's, like it's, it's, it's really important. It's really important. Um, it's, you know, he, we joked about it. He probably went on in like five cities in like two, three days. Um, from going to coming here, meeting us in Phoenix, flying to Portland. Um, and then playing and, 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 and not, you know, knowing. I didn't know he was going to play. Um, you know, him getting thrown in there is, is um, credits to him. You know, I thought he did well um, trying to pick up and, and, and play on the fly. Um, but, you know, him being in practice today, him knowing plays, uh, figuring out what we do offensively and defensively, um, it's, it's, it's what you need to get your feet, you know, under you going into the next game. How difficult is that? Like, just for, for people who might not understand, to, to have be used to playing around the same guys, and then all of a sudden a new guy comes in and you have to play against an NBA team. Like, how difficult is that to not only play next to that guy, for that guy to play next to four guys who've already been with each other for an entire season? Yeah, it's, it's tough on him. Um, again, for us, we're, we're used to playing at the level we're playing at. We know what we're doing out there. Um, not that he does it, but it's an adjustment for him. Um, it's, it's, it's tough on him to be in a scheme, be in a, a, a play style, uh, be coached differently all season long. And then, you know, he's in a whole foreign, you know, environment, uh, being with new players, new, new playing style, new plays. Um, it's, it's more tough on him, especially going on the road. Um, I think at home, feel a little better. Um, you get that welcome in from the crowd, joining a new team. Um, but to be placed right on the road right away is tough. Well, sometimes you guys are closing with Jeremy with that starting group, Josh, Ray. you feel like you have a lot of options when it comes to crunch time in terms of, of how you're going to finish right now as a group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got, you know, we've been saying all year, we got a lot of versatility on this team. Paul, when it comes to looking at the film from Portland and Phoenix, what do you think the little things need to be improved defending the perimeter against Houston? Um... I think um, we're rebounding. I think um, that Portland game, we got a, they got away with some offensive rebounds that hurt us. Um, but I think we did well enough defending the three-point line. Like I said, you know, in this league, you got guys that can make tough threes and shoot those tough threes. Um, that's what, what's going to be the case tomorrow night. Um, we just can't let them get open and good looks. Um, they make some here and there. 
so be it. We just can't let them get the good wide open looks. Um, so they, we, we got to challenge ourselves. Um, they're going to definitely challenge us with that. Um, but we got to challenge ourselves with that that matchup. Do those open looks come from a breakdown in communication on the court? Or how do those happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it comes from breakdowns. It comes from us um, not rotating, not being in the right spots. Um, then it's just a downfall. Um, it's a snowball effect with you know them going downhill, somebody not not rotating, the ball gets swung out. Then we late rotate, and then it's that one more pass that that teams are getting us on. So. Um, it's just, you know, having a, a, a attention to detail tomorrow. Anybody else? Thanks, Thanks,